Hello again, what I want to do now is a demonstration on how to update um, data connections within pivot table. So this is slightly different than um, just a standard refresh because in a update situation there may actually be an additional uh, field um, that say has been included within the underlying data set. So to demonstrate this I'm going to have a, an additional field called bill, uh, bill total times 10. Um, and what I'll do is just multiply this by 10. Okay, and then I'll just copy and paste, copy, and I paste it as a number just so it removes the formula component. So there we go. So if we go to the, um, say, the pivot, power pivot that it's, uh, that it's attached to, and uh, open up the underlying table. Uh, if we actually go to, just take a second for this, if we actually go in and refresh this in the uh, way we refreshed uh, in the previous demo, um, what we'll see is the additional um, column hasn't, ca hasn't come through. Um, so there's no bill total times uh, times 10. So in this situation, we need to um, bring the um, bring the data back through again. And uh, what we have to be a bit careful about is we have to make sure we bring it into this table, or at least a table with this name. So at the moment, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is initially re rename this to that. Yep, so that is done that fine. I'll just save this and then I'm going to pull the file through again. So we're going to browse it. It's the raw customer data file that we're going to pull through. Open, next. So, okay. We finish that. And what it'll do is it'll pull through another table. And it's going to take a while. Okay, that's done. So here we go. We've got the um, this additional column. Uh, obviously, these first few are coming out as zeros because we've got some some missing missing records. But we'll go down. Okay. Yep. That's the times ten column. So what we then do is we can get rid of the either get rid of the uh, the old one, we could probably leave it there because it's had its name changed, but just to keep things simple, let's get rid of it. Um, and then we need to rename this new one so it's exactly the same uh, name as the, as the old file. That will then allow us to, um, uh, so the data's come through, that'll then allow us to go to the workbook here and then we uh, refresh this workbook. It'll then update directly from the from the pivot. So what we need to do, obviously, is drop some of the information out because its information has changed. But for example, what we can see now is this bill total times ten is there. So that is how we update data, and that's sort of useful if you are getting data feeds. Uh, from one um, monthly and perhaps some of those columns change. So we've still got all the same functionality that we had before. So that is very handy.